Hey everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader and it is officially 2024, which means we have an entire year of new releases coming out soon and I'm going to tell you which ones I am looking forward to. If you saw this video last year, it is going to be very, very similar style this time around. I'm going to break the year up month by month, and I'm going to tell you what books are coming out that month that I'm looking forward to reading. Since I mainly read fantasy romance and contemporary romance, that's what I'm going to kind of focus on. This is not at all an exhaustive list. I don't have every single release of every single book that's ever coming out. So if you're looking for thrillers or mysteries or I have some YA, but not tons of YA, that will not be on this list. So I'm just giving you a fair warning. But if you are looking for contemporary romance and fantasy romance, this is your place to be. This year it was particularly hard to try to fill in these months. I did get quite a few books. Don't get me wrong. I got like tons. It took me a very long time. It did not seem like there was a, a lot of lists that were posted or even an exhaustive list like on Goodreads. I had to scour different places and really, really search and it was really hard. It was really hard this year. And B, it seems like there were just not a lot of releases announced yet. I feel like I had the same problem that I did last year where the end of the year kind of tapers off. Like, I don't know if I even have anything listed for the entire month of November. It's like things haven't been released yet or publicized yet that they're coming out towards the end of the year. Like the winter, late fall lists haven't been finalized, I guess. So that half of the year is a little lacking, but the beginning chunk has a lot coming out. I also try to stick to the authors or series that I have started that I have reviews for on this channel or authors that I typically read or are auto buy authors for me. So you'll see a lot of those books also. I'm not going to give a summary of every single book. There's a lot of books here. OK, I would drive myself crazy trying to give a summary of every single one. Plus, I haven't read them yet. I don't read arcs. I don't ask for them. So I have no idea what some of these are about. I can't give you summaries of all of them. Here we go. I am just going to kind of list the books and leave comments if I have them. In January, there are five books that are coming out. The first is Wings So Wicked by Emily Blackwood on the 12th. If you did see my book club video, I have chosen this book for book club. So it is coming out kind of towards the middle of the month, but not really. So we still have plenty of time to read it. But this is a new adult fantasy. It looks like it has forced proximity, some kind of competition, game trials type thing, vampires, angels, all kinds of things. When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. This book comes out on the 13th, and this is the same author that wrote To Bleed a Crystal Bloom. I haven't read that series, but I feel like a lot of people were reading it in 2023. It seemed pretty popular. It is on my list of, on my TBR. So I put her new one out. I saw in the description there's something about dragons. So since everybody's a dragon girly right now, I made sure that was on this list. Destroy the Day by Bridget Kemmerer is book three in the Defy the Night series. We know I love Defy the Night, and this is coming out on the 23rd. I just posted a really terrible recap of book two in that series. So if you need a recap of it, you can go watch that. But just fair warning, I didn't have my microphone. You can't hear shit. It's awful. I accept it. I accept it. I, I tell you what happens. So you can go watch. For all my Swifties, The Breakup Tour by, I call him Wibroka, okay? I've been reading their stuff for many, many years now, but it's Emily Wibberly and Austin Sigmund Broca. They are a married couple and they write together. They write a lot of YA and have just kind of broken into adult romances in this past year. So they wrote a Taylor Swift inspired romance called The Breakup Tour. It's coming out on the 23rd. And of course, like I didn't even read the back. I saw that they wrote it. I saw it was inspired by Taylor and I, I'm just going to read it. And of course, the day we are all waiting for, the 30th of this month, we will be all putting down everything that we have been reading and reading the new Sarah J Mass book. We know this is going to happen. Everybody just accept it. Accept it. House of Flame and Shadow is coming out on the 30th. I don't need to say anything more. February has six books that are coming out. The first one is Bride by Allie Hazelwood, and that comes out on the 6th. 
This looks very different from Allie's other books that I've read, which were all very Star Wars fan fiction. This one, I, I don't know if it is fan fiction. It, it could be. It could be. It's a wolf shifter book. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to give it a chance. I, I said in my review for her last book that I read that if she wrote something different, I would try it. So she did. And here we are. I'm going to try it. The next is A Vicious Game by Melissa Blair, which also comes out on the 6th. This is book three of the Broken Blade series. This was the anonymous author viral TikTok book that everybody didn't know who wrote it. It's the third book in that series. I've read the first one. I have the second one on my shelf. I've heard it. The second one is still really good. I have not gotten to it yet, but the third one is coming out, so I'm going to have to catch up. The next one is one that I've been looking forward to. Of course, it's Tessa Bailey. It comes out on the 13th and it's called Fangirl Down. Tessa has been teasing this book for a very long time. It's about this golfer who's not really doing very well in his career and he's got this like super fan that follows him everywhere and obviously it's a romance between him and this super fan. Yay, more Tessa. I'm excited. The next is The Catch by Amy Lee. This one also comes out on the 13th. I'm a little hesitant after really not liking Amy's last book, but I loved her first book. This is the third book in that Influencers series. So I think because of the first one, I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give it a chance, but we'll see if it's more like the first or more like the second for me. The next one is Till There Was You by Lindsay Hammerhoff. This one comes out on February 2nd, and it was kind of the cover that drew me in for this one. It, it's got like the cute stack of pancakes, and it's about like a culinary student who has this like fling with this guy who then becomes this huge overnight artist sensation for a song that he wrote or something. I don't know. It just seemed kind of cute. I'm going to try it. And the last one that I have been looking forward to because so many of my friends got arcs for this and uh, I don't request arcs. So, you know, I didn't get it and I've been waiting, but it comes out on the 27th. Danielle Jensen's new book, A Fate Inked in Blood. It's a Viking inspired fantasy romance. And I have heard it is amazing. I can't wait. I can't wait. One of my friends who's in my Daddy Nikto's chat said, like, buckle up. Nikki, you have told me a million times that I can't wait for this book. So like, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. In March, there are three. The first one is Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage. And this is book two in the Rebel Blue Ranch series. This one comes out on the fifth. I really liked the first book. Funny story though, I literally cannot recall reading it at all. I must have been in like a hormone daze because I blank. Complete blank. I just remember that I liked it. I haven't done a video on it because I can't freaking remember. I get like little snippets of it when I read the description in the back, but not enough to fully do a video right now. I might have to skim it before I read this next one. But their romances set on a ranch, cowboy-esque. I really enjoyed the first one. I remember enjoying it. I just don't remember what it was about. So I'm going to read the second one. Also coming out on the 5th is Kilt Trip by Alexandra Kylie. One of my friends is reading this right now and she just says it's really cute. There's a, a guy in Scotland wearing a kilt on the front cover. It, it seems like a travel romance. I'm in. And on the 19th is Trials of Ophelia by Nicole Platania. This is book three in the Curse of Ophelia series. And I've read book one. I need to read book two. She posted a freaking snippet from it the other day. And I was like, oh, I need to read that. And so the third one is coming out in March. So I better catch up. April is going to be a big month. I don't know if I'm going to get everything in April read. April is probably going to drift into the rest of the year because there are seven books in April. On the second is Just for Summer by Abby Jimenez, and I don't even care what it's about. Abby wrote it, so I'm buying it. That's just the way it goes for me. I love her books. I've read every single one of them. I've loved all of them. Auto buy. Also on the second is The Rule Book by Sarah Adams. It is another football romance. I read the cheat sheet from her, God, I think two years ago at this point, and I really liked her football romance, so I'm going to read her next one. And of course, Megan Quinn is also releasing something on the second. It's called Bridesmaid for Hire. Gives me a 27 dresses feel. She really likes to like, 
put a new spin on these, I don't want to say old, but yeah, okay, old movies that like I grew up watching. So 27 Dresses, she's done uh, Princess Diaries, she's done some other rom-coms. I think this one might be that. I don't know. I, have, I haven't read the back. I just know Megan's coming out with a new book and I went through a huge like read all Megan Quinn books last summer. So I will be reading this one. On the 16th is Blood Guard by C.C. Robson. I don't really know what this book is about. What draws me into it is it's a Red Tower publishing, which means they've given us Fourth Wing, they've given us Assistant to the Villain, they've given me books that I like. So I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to read it. Okay, I'm getting in at the beginning. We'll see how it is. The cover is intriguing. So I'm going to just take a leap. On the 23rd is Funny Story by Emily Henry. You're either an Emily Henry fan or you're not, and I am, so I will be reading Emily's next book. Again, I don't know what it's about, but I'm gonna read it because I sobbed in the last one. I sat in silence in my room at like 6 a.m. crying so I didn't wake my husband up silently. Uh, so I will be reading Funny Story. <laughs> I lied, there are only six. I had one of them written twice, so sorry about that. There are only six in March. April, in April, there are only six in April. The last one comes out on the 23rd. And we've been waiting for this. Well, I, have, I haven't really been waiting because I'm not caught up to read it because I just cannot bring myself to read. Number eight. So number nine of Zodiac Academy is going to be rough. The problem is, is I need to read it because I don't want the ending, however it ends up, we have no idea to be ruined for me on social media. So I have to read eight and the little like in-betweener before Zodiac Academy nine comes out. I haven't seen any news on it. The Twisted Sisters have been kind of quiet. I usually see all their social media and I haven't seen anything. So I don't know if it's just my algorithm or if they've just been quiet. They've probably been working to finish this dang book. So it'll probably be like 1500 pages at this point, but whatever, we're all going to read it. And that brings us to May. In May, we have five books. The first one comes out on the 7th and it is JLA and it is Born of Blood and Ash. I don't even know which series this one is. Just kidding. I know. It's number four of Nick Dose, the series that I care about. And I hope this book redeems the series after the last book because just go watch my video. Also on the 7th is This Summer Will Be Different by Carly Fortune. Will this summer be different? I don't know. I think I'm gonna wait to see other reviews before I get into this one because I really didn't like the last one. Really didn't like the last one. We'll be paying attention to this release, but I'm not gonna read it immediately. On the 14th, our good friends Christina Lauren are releasing The Paradise Problem. Again, they're pretty much an auto buy, so I don't really care what it's about. I loved their last book that was set in paradise, The Unhoneymooners. They're releasing I'll Be Reading. The next is on the 21st by Christina Riccio. I always say Christina, it's Christine. This book is called Attached at the Hip. When I looked at the description, it is a combination of The Bachelor and Survivor. So I can't wait. I couldn't figure out if this was adult or if this was young adult. Her other books that I've read were young, young adult, but like kind of upper young adult. So I don't know which one this will be, but I think it's going to be good. Also on the 21st is Savor It by Tara DeWitt. I haven't read any of her books, but this one looked good. It looked less like a rom-com and more like a romance. A lot of her other books have been really popular. So I put this on the list. Maybe it will get me into reading her books. In June, we have six. The first one I know absolutely nothing about. On the fourth, The Wren in the Holly Library by K.A. Linda. I have no idea what this was about. I liked the cover, looked like fantasy. We'll see what it is. Sometimes it's really hard to find new authors, especially like fantasy romance authors that are releasing a book for the first time because you don't know who they are. And it's hard to just pick a book and look forward to it and find it. It's difficult. So we'll see how it is. Also on the fourth is Daydream by Hannah Grace. This is the third book in the Maple Hills series. So the first was Icebreaker, then Wildfire, now Daydream. On the 11th, the fourth book in the Windy City series by Liz Tomford comes out called Play Along. 
clearly I need to read the second and the third before the fourth comes out. People have said really, really good things about the second. I have a review on the first, but I have not read the second. Also on the 11th is Not in Love by Allie Hazelwood. This cover looked quite a bit different than the others that Allie has released. It looked kind of sad. So I don't know, maybe this one's gonna be like more emotional, question mark? I don't know. We'll see how Bride is and then we'll see how this one is. I may wait for some reviews on this one. We'll see. And again, on the 11th is Catherine Center's new book, The rom Commerce. I believe this has to do with like people that are working on a Hollywood rom-com or movie rom-com. Again, Catherine Center is an autobi author for me. I don't really know what this book's about, but I will read it because I love her books. And on the 25th is Finding Mr. Right by Kelly Armstrong. And this is about a girl who is finding a guy to like play her because she writes under a pseudonym and she doesn't want anybody to know that she's a woman. So she has to find like a man to to play her in public. And she finds this guy and it's a romance. So in July, we have four. On the second is Reckless by Lauren Roberts. This is the second book in the Powerless series. I have not yet read Powerless. I started to when I was pregnant, like right at the beginning of my I can't read fantasy phase. I knew I was going to like it, but I could not read it. I had to put it down. And now I can only really read on my Kindle because I'm doing 8 million other things. And so I have to have my Kindle and I only have a physical copy. So I just haven't read it yet. I'm going to this year before July so I can read the second one. The next is The Game Changer by Lana Ferguson. And this comes out on the 9th. It's a hockey romance. Do I have to say anything more? On the 16th, we get another Tessa Bailey. This one is called The Au Pair Affair, and it is the second book in the Fangirl Down series. So the characters must be connected in some way. And on the 16th, we have Hate to Fake It to You by Amanda Seller. Fake dating. Again, come on. Come on. I always read fake dating. In August, there are three On the 12th, we have the second book in the Assistant to the Villain series by Hannah Nicole Mayer, and it is Apprentice to the Villain. I'm very excited. It is coming out earlier than I thought it was going to come out. So yay. I need to find out what happens with the villain. I love the villain. I may reread the first book before I read the second one because I just, I loved the villain. It was so cute and so quirky and I loved it. Maybe that wasn't on the 12th. I th- I think I got the day wrong on that one. Hang on. August 8th. That one comes out on August 8th. I did get the day wrong. On the 13th is The Breakup Pact by Emma Lord. This is a fake dating with an ex or ex best friend. I can't remember, but I loved Tweet Cute from Emma Lord. I have some of her other books on my shelf that I just haven't gotten to yet, but they're young adult. And I think this one is adult. So I'm excited for an adult book from her. And last on the 29th is Goldfinch by Raven Kennedy. It is the sixth book in the Guild series. I didn't make it past Glow, you guys. Someone tell me if I should keep going. The perspective shift totally threw me off, but I put this on this list because I know there's a lot of you that have read it and are looking forward to it. I do have reviews on it, so I included it, but I just couldn't get through Glow. In September, I have one. This is where the end of the year starts tapering. So this is going to be pretty loose. More things will probably come out. We don't have dates. We don't have titles. We don't have any announcements. So on the 10th, we have Valley by Stacey McEwen. It is the third and final book in the Ledge trilogy. I still have to read Chasm sitting on my shelf. It's just a physical book and I haven't been reading those. So got to read it before Valley. In October, we have one Scorched Earth by Danielle L. Jensen is coming out on the 22nd. This is, I think, supposed to be the last book in the Dark Shores, Dark Skies series. Again, I still need to catch up with the end of that series. I have to remind myself what happened in the first two. But that is a really good like fantasy series. It's not as heavy in the romance as her other books. It is YA. But the first book, Dark Shores, is like Pirates of the Caribbean and 300 mixed together. I really know what the comparison of the second book is. I couldn't give you what it was. It was kind of unique. Then I haven't read the third one and now the fourth one's coming. I don't have any for November. I have no idea what's coming out in November. Hopefully something. Either that or we reread Twilight again because it's November. And in December, we have two 
the third, fourth wing, and the last of the Stormlight Archive from Brandon Sanderson. I know both of these have been announced. I don't know if specific dates have come out for them yet. I didn't really see. I didn't look that hard, to be honest, but I didn't really see. Once it gets closer, we'll know. Uh, Rebecca just posted a, a reel or video or whatever the other day that she was just starting to write the number three book. So I don't even know if we can pre-order it yet. It doesn't exist. Also, some of note that I didn't really find specific dates for slash question mark. Are they having new books coming out this year? Book three of the Legends of Thesmar book by Helen. I can't pronounce her last name. I don't know when book three is coming out. I know she just posted like a little teaser for the third book's cover, but I'm not quite sure the exact date. I just read the first book. I have not posted my review on that yet, so Keep an eye out if you are curious about Blood and Steel. Also, the second book from Lauren Asher in the Lakefront Billionaires series. I just read the first one, but the second one is called Love Unwritten. It doesn't have a date yet. It doesn't have a cover yet, but I have a feeling it's going to come out in 2024 because the last one came out in 2023. So we'll see. Also, has anybody seen any news on Carissa Broadbent? Like we have the Queens of Neaxia first two, but there were supposed to be like nine total or something. Has anybody heard anything? Because I couldn't find anything. So I'm curious. If you know, let me know. All right, that was a fucking long list and I'm really tired. (laughs) Editing this is going to be a bitch, but I have to put it out for you guys. Honestly, I use this video myself to like go back and figure out what's coming out for that month so I know what to go and pre-order. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Hopefully you've got some to add to your TBR. If you've got others that you think that I will love or that I missed, like send me a comment down below. Let me know so I can add them to my list. Well, it seems like this is going to be a great year for reading, guys. It seems like it's going to be an awesome, awesome year. There's so much coming out and I'm very, very excited. We'll see if we can hit our reading goals, right? I don't know. I think we can do it. If you like reading fantasy and romance, I post reviews on my channel weekly. So make sure to hit like and subscribe if you want to be notified when videos get posted to my channel. Thanks for hanging out today. Now go add all of these books to your TBR tracker, whatever the hell you use. I don't really care. And I'll see you guys next time.